today. From NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. It's the Houston Texans taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings. Right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And rightly so. He's been the big story leading up to this AFC Championship game because, as we all know, no rookie's ever won a Super Bowl as a starting quarterback. Heck. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Out this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Pierce will try to pick it up. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Back in completion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll be brought down. Just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely... Six, now second and four. Mahomes going to throw. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football, because them doing that puts their defense in a great... They go play action here on first down. They find this target here if they hope to move the chains. They go play fake. Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he slipped. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased. Sweetie. Sweetie, 
They'll run here with Pierce. And hold on here, because on that last run, I'm out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Again, it's Pierce, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce taking it in from a yard out. And the Texans continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Boy, still in the first quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's upended at the 33, following a good run. Here's second and two. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And he'll be brought down on the other side of 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. Throwing now is Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. 21-0, our score after one. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Mahomes to throw once more. Now into a sea of defenders and intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And the Texans force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments. Ready to stiffen up and stop that run. On third down, here's Pierce. And he won't be close to a first down as punt. No return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now this offense comes back out of the field. Mahomes now to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete second and five. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. For this AFC championship, it's a first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. We'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. It gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Mahomes. No hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. The big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Mahomes. No hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And brought down. But two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. So they accept the pick. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. 11 yards, but... They'll try and run for it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, I mean, down early here in this first half, I think they felt their backs were against the wall already. So they go for it on fourth and goal. And they're able to punch it into the end zone. And they did a nice job there, feeling like their backs were against the wall. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Steps away. And he will slide to a halt at the end of that one. I think surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down. Take the completion, keep moving. Check mash, check mash. No, no, no. He'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Just like that. Just like that. 
First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he's got it past the 30 before it's on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and 14. Now here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. At five, first and 15. They'll set up to throw. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And they're second and four. From midfield, here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's going to... And again, it's Mahomes. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Looking to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. And this will be good for a couple a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open man there is Collins. They'll drop to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the NFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Fields it right around the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs are ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they have work to do in this second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. Second half starts with a run by Edwards Alaire. They'll be brought down on the 30 yards. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And able to get this one. Mahomes now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defense. Lead. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Mahomes again. It's Kelsey on the ground. And the tackle getting made. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Mahomes going to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Some 12 from that outside linebacker position. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. Here's Tony on the quick slant. A big play. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. Bum rap. We just see him as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the... Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On second down, here's Pierce. And he's able to motor his way down to the six. This up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's looking five. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. To throw again on second down. Mahomes and able to get this one a couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down to throw it's Mahomes looking middle and that's complete and they'll get this out Try to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw he finds his target Allen and he gets Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And hitting Juju on the slam. And he's 10 to 5. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scampling. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 64 yards. And the Chiefs have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on D? The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll set up to throw. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he's on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he gets it to the 32. Good inversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. It hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he... In my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight, but I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that... Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Texans are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this. On play action, it's Mahomes. That's into the hands of Fortson. Right. And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. 
Mahomes firing complete. And they'll get him. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And they're going to get this down to about the 13 second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down. First and ten. Here's Mahomes. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Texans are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language. Maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. It's crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And he slips up past on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On play action, they'll throw. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the movie's all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. Running here under 90 seconds to go. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Mahomes to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. And the crowd on its feet, and understandably so, they are Super Bowl bound after taking that knee. How about the ability to celebrate not just winning a championship, but to do it with your fans on your home field? What a great collaboration for them all year long. The Texans, they are going to the Super Bowl as we sign off and say goodnight, everybody. for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew will see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.